We've got the perfect um, perfect evening for this. No uh, rain expected and uh, should be lovely out there tonight. Nice sunset as well to be thrown in. So we're going to go under the bridge, we're going to go upstream. We're going to stay out, if this is all okay with you guys, for about two hours. If it's too long for anyone, just say we can, we'll come back. But that's my cunning plan. So we'll get back here about nine o'clock. Um, sunset's a bit before nine o'clock, so we'll see a bit of sunset. But to go out late into the evening like this, there's a chance that we can see our local beaver population. Oh, oh I love that. Now, the history of beavers is that we're plenty of beavers in the UK, thousands of them, but we did what we're really good at, we ate them all. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we put them on the barbecue, put them in the oven, and over campfires, and we ate them all. That's 400 years ago. But Kent Wildlife Trust secretly reintroduced them to the river and to the area. They had them in a pen down at Ham Fen, which is between Sandwich and Canterbury, uh, Sandwich and Deal. Um, the initial plan was, was to keep them in the pen keep an eye on them, monitor them, whatever that means. Uh, but the beavers thought, we don't really like it here, we're gonna escape. And beavers are fantastic at building dams and digging trenches and holes and tunnels. And they just promptly escaped. Uh, and they came out onto the watercourse system and they got into the River Stour. We first noticed them 2017. I got a photograph of the tree where they nibbled it away. Yeah. Um, and um, then lockdown came. And after we came back from lockdown, there were signs of beavers everywhere. Wow. And so we went looking for beavers one night, me and some of the boys. And sure enough, we came across a beaver in the river uh, and we were all jumping up and down like children because my friend John, who's a retired Royal Marine, he got a fantastic photograph of the beaver and just as it did a big splashdown, and oh, the water's come up in the air. Mm. And that's the first photograph we know of, of, the, of a beaver oh. in the river. So that was about four years oh. ago. And um, so we've been doing these wildlife tours every evening not every evening, sorry, quite a few evenings in the summer. They've been very popular, very successful. It's not just beavers we might see, we might see other wildlife as well. There's kingfishers out here, there's herons. The other night they saw in a barn owl apparently. So oh, yeah, I've only ever seen one barn owl out here, but you never know. Mm -hmm. Apart from anything else, it's gonna be a lovely evening. So um, I'll tell you what I know about these beavers and other stuff. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask. Health and safety, if any of you feel like really ill and you need an ambulance, if we just come back here, this is our rendezvous point. Uh, we don't want the air ambulance trying to find us up here. It'll have to be the Coast Guard otherwise. And if we have the Coast Guard, then we get Sky News and all the rest of it. We don't want to be able to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, she's good at that though. Yeah, we can have a good press report. On yeah. that happy note, we're going to get going. All right? Yeah. 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 Any questions? Yeah. No? Yeah. Relax yeah. and enjoy it. Um, Where did you get your shoes from to like them? These, <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> Typical really Karen. Nice. They, 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 they might nice. be. Marks and Spencers I've got They're a really feeling. Nice. Yeah. I, I, I like, like your shoes too. Yours are very nice. Thank you mate. Yes, yes, yes definitely. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah.